Hi ho, hi ho, and thanks for joining me again for another episode in Transport Fever. You will remember that we've got a line transporting crude oil from there down to our oil refinery down here. We've only got one train towing three carriages, and we've got another train which is taking fuel up to Buckingham. Now I think what we need to do today is to try and make some money, and I want to get uh, another line in which is taking fuel down to Sandy. I want to get another train in which is picking up oil and I want to get more carriages onto the existing one. I think then we'll try and make some more money by getting more vehicles taking uh, raw materials from the farm down to the food production factory and from there we'll get more vehicles taking food down to Sandy and Buckingham. So today we need to spend some money and we need to borrow some money. Let's go down here. Let's rack up the loan, get up to one and a half million and let's get some track in place first of all. And I'm going to bring the track out, out of here and come parallel to this line. So we'll pick up the track tool, we'll drag out a line from in here, start it off there, that's fine, and we're going to drag that down all the way so it's going to come across the existing bridge, parallel to the bridge, run along there, that's fine, and let's tick it off for a second, and we'll bring it over here, that's okay, and we'll come down the other side. looking fine and we'll cross the road and leave it just there because I'm going to take out this little piece of track here so I can join this up. So let's chop that piece out there. Let's level it out a bit because it's looking a bit um, messy. Just there, that's looking okay. That's good. And we'll drop the track in and join up to the existing one there. Okay. Uh, we've got a signal on this side, uh, but we need to get signals in both sides are going backwards and forwards because um, trains will stop and not do anything whilst it's waiting. So we need a signal there and we'll get another to the other side of the bridge. And let's get one in there, one in there, and of course we'll need one here where it joins the existing track and one up here to encourage trains to come out of the station so another one there that's okay uh, I'm now going to buy another train and that train will be towing oil tankers let's pick up uh, three of those and I'm going to leave it automatic and I'm going to set it to the green line which is line seven that takes crude oil down to the oil refinery. That's that one set up. I'm just saving the gain there which is quite useful which is good and let's see what we've got down here. How much production? Juicing 30, nothing waiting so another train taking oil down will make that much, um, give it much more that's taking nine fuel up, that's going to make it more efficient. So let's slow it down a bit. It's going very fast there. And now I'm going to bring a piece of track out from here and I'm going to join up to this line here which goes down to Sandy. I'm going to leave that signal for the minute. I'll deal with that in a second. Let's just get the line to come out first. Let's run that parallel. That's good. And we'll bring that across the road. I want to bring, a, I want to bring it out in a curve because I want it to come under this bridge. So I need a bit of a curve to come round. And let's come out a bit further. It's looking at just okay there. And I'll bring it under here and join over this side. So that's okay. Let's see how that's looking. That's fine. Okay, let's bring that round in a curve now. And that's going to go nicely under there. That's good. And there will be some crossover when we get to this line, but um, let's see, I could run it parallel and cross over at the last minute, but it's quite wasteful if I do that. I'm going to bring it to there, 
and I now need to decide what I want to do at the other end. Now down here we need to get a good station in. I need to put the good station close to the industrial area because that's the area that needs the fuel. So we're talking about down here. Now what do I run out of there? Do I run a terminus or do I run a It doesn't but really, that covers that covers a bit of the industrial, doesn't it? Um let's just take that up again, see where we go. If I put that there, we get quite a bit of the industrial area covered. I'm probably gonna go with that, you know, that looks okay to me there. And do I need two tracks? I think I need two because at some point we might get some other goods coming in here. Um we don't know what they're gonna be yet, but let's just anticipate that we're going to get a boom town going at some point so we'll have that there where we might get something coming in from there you may get something coming in from the farm so in which case I'm going to put the incoming track there now that's interesting we've got this line here um, but I could put a bridge over there at some point let's not worry about that for a minute uh, I know it's not good planning but Let's just get this up and running. Let's get this working. That's the key. We want, we want to make some cash. That's what we need to do today. Now, we're going to bring this into this track. There's only one line going down here. At some point, we may get another train on there, mightn't we? Now, if that's going to be the case, I think what I might do, we've got 523k, I think I might put some more line in down here, you know. I'm going to run this down. I'm going to make this a double track. I did say we were going to get double tracks eventually. 51k going up, going up, 88k. Well, we, I'll have to borrow some more money, but this is the name of the game. We borrow invest that's right we're investing for the future that's what they say so let's carry on doing that we have to realize how far this was it's a huge distance isn't it coming a long way down but there we go we're anywhere near that junction yet not are we carry on carry on let's do more bring it all the way around now what should we do here? Should I should I go across to this other track here, or should I do a nudge in just here? Now I think the answer is a nudge in with some signalling. So that one can go there. While I'm here, I'm going to remember to put a signal in now, so that can go there. And the next signal will be where this one joins. So we'll join this track up, Let's bring that over. Doesn't like going in like that, you see. So you've got to come in at an angle. That's fine. Um, and we'll bring that across and join that one. And we'll put a signal in there as well. So there we go. We're in there now. That's fine. Oh, that's a bit odd. But still, I'm not worried about looking odd. Odd's the name of the game. And we need a signal there. Okay. So, let's have a look what we've got. We've got no other signals. We need more signals in. Got to keep the, um, got to keep the trains moving. Don't want huge distances between. Otherwise, the trains will be stopping at signals, waiting for the trains to pass the next signal along the line. Uh, come over here. One there. One there. And... Still quite a distance to go, so a couple more. One there, one there. Now, where do we join? Where do we join now? The track's coming in here. I won't put another signal in a minute. I'm going to join the track. Uh, that's this one here. We'll come over, run parallel. We'll get down to a um, the level and we'll join in there and we'll now put more signals in place so signal for the join um, one there 
one there that's fine anything along there signals there that's fine and coming around here we need a signal now what about coming back when we come back there's going to have to be a crossover and I'll do a crossover here just before here I think so let's get some the track up and we'll cross over just before this junction so it's not too much hanging about on the system a bit of an embankment there should be okay we'll find out if we're not in a second it doesn't like it no that's fine that's dropped in and we now need signals here so we need a signal there and we need a signal we've already got signal there anything coming that way will be stopped by that signal when that signals up that signal there will be down here so that's fine let's just check what the route looks like that's crossing over now it shouldn't do that it should be coming down there why isn't it coming down there and what's happened here so we need a crossover at this end that's why so we'll do Go across here and we'll bring that down to there. Across there, let's check the route again. So, okay, that's good. We're two way down that way, up that way, and that continues doing that all the way down, which is very good news. And the only thing I need now is another train coming in and that's going to have to come from that depot and I'll send it so I'm going to put a signal in there um, otherwise it'll be sitting here for ages there's a signal where's the next signal there isn't a signal there so I need to put one in there okay let's um, put it on stop mode for a second um, come out of signals Close that down, go to the depot, buy a train, buy. And this time we need to set that for fuel. Buy, we need to borrow some more money because one's no good. Another 500k, let's whack this loan up. We're up to 7 million. And we'll buy one, two. And we want a new line. New line. And we want the station to be down from there. And we're going to come down to, where am I? Here. And we've got a line. Oh, that's good. That's joined up. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to set the train off. And I need to get it to cross the line. It's going to be of a nuisance, isn't it? It's going to go down there. So I need to put a crossover. Now, would it, it might actually cross there. I can get it to cross there and then do a reversal. I'm going to do that. Let's see what happens. Train coming out. Smoke there. That's excellent. Good news. Now, let's keep this up for a second. Uh, because when he's in the right position, I'll reverse him to get him to go down to the um, oil refinery. I need to wait till he's gone over to there. Now, he may go down here, of course. My guess is he'll go across there because he's going to try and get down to Sandy first. That's the only route he can take to get to Sandy. Come on, turn left. Yes, he's turned left. Excellent. <laughs> And once he's done that left and he's gone past the points, I'll do a reverse. Now that should now take him down to the oil refinery. And that should be down here, Buckingham Annex. Excellent, that's where he wanted to go. Job done. So he's working. And we've now got the trains in place that are going to go and pick up fuel and take to Sandy and Buckingham. We've got two trains bringing crude oil down from here. Still got a huge number of 
barrels waiting to be transported. Down here, this production should be coming up soon. 28, that's still fairly low. Um, it's only bringing it's only bringing 30 down, you know, with the two trains, because each train carries six. Oh no, it's 18, it's 36 is bringing down, isn't it? So, still, still low numbers. Um, let's have a look what's on there. That's the fuel train, so don't expect anything on there. That's fuel as well. Where are my um, crew trains? One there. Where's the other one? Did I do another one? Sure I did. 15 of 15. Now I think I could be losing my marbles. Let's have a look. Sure I put uh, yeah, two trains on there. There's one there. And there's one there. Those are the two carrying fuel. Let's see where he is. Oh, he's at the top. That's right. And he's just coming across the bridge. Oh, he's only doing 13 miles an hour because it's so heavy. Well, oh, it'd be nice to get some new engines on there at some point, won't it? Okay. So they're being they're being transported. Can't do much for a minute. I don't want to borrow any more money. I want to try and make some money now. Um, I want to speed this up a bit. It's a bit wearing, wearing watching um, grass grow. But these are now belting along. Still doing 13. Well, probably doing 25 now. But um, yeah, they're on the flat, so that's okay. He's hammering along. Now he's what? He's waiting for. No, he's waiting for that one to get past that set of signals up there, which he's done. That's good. There should be another train going over here somewhere. Probably not even gone over there yet. Early days. Is this the one that's going to go? Yeah, he wants to cross over. And that's good. That signal's working. Jolly good. And he's going to go off to Sandy. He's got nothing on there yet uh, because um, it's his first trip. It does take a couple of trips before the production starts coming up. So, are we making any money? It's gone up a bit, look. Uh, we're in the green. So, we're not doing too badly there. How are the lines looking? Mostly in the green. That's transporting um, food. So, that's gone green now. And the two fuel carrying trains, that one's obviously the one that goes down to Sandy. That's a long way, 19 minutes just about within the 20 minute um, optimum zone. Anything over 20 minutes um, you find a production falls and there really isn't much being transported so we could think about putting another train on there. Um, let's see how it goes over the next sort of um, few days as the days move on and we'll see if in fact we can uh, improve that 302k now I'm going to slow down a bit because it's now probably a good time to think about getting this um, raw material transported which means putting in new vehicles from the vehicle depot and I'm going to buy some more uh, I'm going to leave automatic I'm going to buy three horse wagons and I'm going to get those to transport um, to that's line four. That takes them to the line four. That's right. Line, line four will take them to the um, from here across to. Let's just check. I go on to line four. Yeah, that's going into the food production plant. So we'll make that line four. That's good. And I'm now to buy, I want to buy some more vehicles that will transport food from the food production factory to Buckingham and Sandy. So let's set that to food. And we're going to buy a couple of those. And we want to set those to line 
I'll come back up here. That's probably line five. Yep, that's going from there to there, which is it's okay, line five. And I buy two more, which are going to opt food, and they're going to go to line six, which is going to Sandy. So we've got more oil being transported, uh, we've got more fuel being transported, we've got more raw materials being transported from the farm, and we've got food being transported eventually from the food production plant down to Sandy and Buckingham. Let's have a look at the towns themselves. 18% uh, transport, 18% food, and no fuel yet, but that will change. Uh, well, that train will be going backwards and forwards and will be delivering fuel at some point. Buckingham hit um, one of the vehicles there. Yeah, there we are. 10% poor, 13% for food, 18% for fuel. So looking better. And this is obviously low at the moment. That's red, 96k in the red. Um, mind you, the year before, 1,148. Yeah, quite a significant difference. So gradually improving. So where where are we today? Well, we've got the uh, uh, additional transport in for the fuel and the oil. Again, for the farm to the factory and from the factory to the town. So um, all in all, I think we've done quite well today. Um, I'll leave it for now at that point. And when we come back, We'll have to start thinking about some additional industry. Um, and my guess is that um, the, the easiest one to really get going would be the sawmill and the uh, forest. Forest there, sawmill there. But we've got to actually do something with the, uh, oh look, we've got some new vehicles. We've got a new engine and a new passenger transportation carriage, which is good. Uh, we'll come to those maybe, try and get some money and try and buy some. Well into the red now. But for today, uh, thanks again for joining me. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And please subscribe. And goodbye for now.